findings of our comprehensive, thorough, and independent investigation, coupled with the medical examiner's determination that Mr. Gray's death was a homicide, which we received today, has led us to believe that we have probable cause to file criminal charges. Yes! 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 Lieutenant Rice, Officer Miller, and Officer Nero failed to establish probable cause for Mr. Gray's arrest as no crime had been committed by Mr. Gray. Accordingly, Lieutenant Rice, Officer Miller, and Officer Nero illegally arrested Mr. Gray. Officers Miller and Nero then placed Mr. Gray in a seated position and subsequently found a knife clipped to the inside of his pants pocket. The blade of the knife was folded into the handle. The knife was not a switchblade and is lawful under Maryland law. Right. Baltimore City Police Department, particularly Major Branford of the Homicide Unit. Following transport from Baker Street, Mr. Gray suffered a severe and critical neck injury as a result of being handcuffed, shackled by his feet, and unrestrained inside of the BPD wagon. Spoke with Go the commissioner, ahead, you'd have to ask him. The manner of death deemed a homicide by the Maryland State Medical Examiner is believed to be the result of a fatal injury that occurred while Mr. Gray was unrestrained by a seatbelt in the custody of the Baltimore Police Department wagon. Agency with police powers. To the governor of this great state of Maryland, we have brought the following charges. Officer Caesar Goodson is being charged with second degree depraved heart murder. Involuntary manslaughter, second degree negligent assault, manslaughter by vehicle by means of gross negligence, manslaughter by vehicle by means of criminal negligence, misconduct in office for failure to secure a prisoner, failure to render aid. Officer William Porter is being charged with involuntary manslaughter, assault in the second degree, misconduct in office. Lieutenant Brian Rice is being charged with involuntary manslaughter, assault in the second degree, assault in the second degree, misconduct in office, false imprisonment. Officer Edward Nero is being charged with assault in the second degree, intentional, assault in the second degree, negligent, misconduct in office, false imprisonment. Officer Garrett Miller is being charged with a intentional assault in the second degree, assault in the second degree, negligent, misconduct in office, and false imprisonment. Sergeant Alicia White is being charged with manslaughter, involuntary manslaughter, second degree assault, misconduct in office. Rodney Hill of the Internal Affairs Division for providing us with a hard copy to those that are angry, hurt, or have their own experiences of injustice at the hands of police officers. I urge you to channel the energy peacefully as we prosecute this case. I've heard your calls for no justice, no peace. However, your peace is sincerely needed as I work to deliver justice on behalf of Freddie Gray. To the rank and file officers of the Baltimore City Police Department, please know that these accusations of these six officers are not an indictment on the entire force. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be 